Hey guys, um, another video from bed here. So, I haven't posted a video in a while, and that is because I only really post videos when I've got something good to say, something um, positive going on. I don't like posting videos about the bad shit. Bad shit happens, but I don't like talking about it really. So what happened? The basic version of what happened is um, I finished up my little, or week-long, uh, in-between time after I got my license. I got teamed up with a TNT driver who, and I can't make this stuff up, uh, was a 350-pound black gang member from a uh, Crenshaw neighborhood of Los Angeles. Um, now, I want to point out, I don't say black, like, oh my god, he was black. I don't give a shit that he was black. I give a shit that he was a terrible person. And terrible people come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. He was blatantly racist. He was incredibly homophobic. Um, he was everything I am not. Uh, he was He's a very hateful person, and he made my life for two and a half weeks a complete living hell. Um, when it was my time to sleep, he would blare music, he would talk on the phone as loud as he possibly could, constantly swerving around because he wasn't paying attention to what he was doing. I was driving 11 hours a day, like driving my clock out, and he would drive six to eight hours maybe. By the time I finally said, fuck it, I gotta get off this guy's truck and find a different driver, by the time I got back to, uh, I ended up in Springfield, Missouri at the, uh, the terminal there, um, I was so sleep deprived, I was hallucinating, um, and I hadn't had a shower in five days. I'm not, I'm not proud of that, but that's, those are facts. Um, I hadn't eaten. Uh, he was constantly threatening to leave me in the middle of no fucking where. Um, it was, I don't, I don't want to really relive it, so I don't want to talk too much about it, but I'll, it was an absolute nightmare. It was something I wouldn't wish on anyone. And fortunately, I was able to get off of his truck and, and get out of there. Uh, I hitched a ride from the Springfield Terminal to my home uh, with a really nice guy uh, named Zeno. And uh, he's from Algeria. Really, really cool guy. <clears throat> um, something I didn't realize it was Ramadan, so he was fasting from um, from sunrise to to sunset, essentially. Um, so that was an interesting experience. Uh, but I've been home for the last week or so, just like relaxing and decompressing and washing all of that negativity away. Um, tomorrow morning, I'll be getting a call from my a fleet manager, hopefully with good news, that I've got a new driver that'll be here tomorrow or the day after. Um, fingers crossed this guy is half decent, uh, and I should be able to get back to posting regular videos. Um, I do apologize for the absence, but it's been it's been a wacky couple of weeks. So, uh, but yeah, I am doing well now, I am well rested, I am well showered, uh, and well fed, so I'm a happy camper again, Bob's back to his old self, and I'm ready to get back out there and get the miles and, and get back to doing what I love to do. So I'll see you out on the road, stay tuned, don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a great day.